Good morning, viewers. My names are Evangelist William Kedia Kase. This morning, I want to appreciate the Lord and to give glory to the Lord for this opportunity has given me so that I may share the word of God with all of you, everyone who is viewing me or is watching over this all over the world. Uh, I want just to bring the word of an encouragement as the Lord has put in my heart this morning. As you know, the times we are living today, but God has put me a word of encouragement to encourage every person and every viewer who is listening, who is watching now. I want us to read the word of God in the book of first letter of John. Chapter 3, verses 7 and verse 8. The Bible says, Little children, let no man deceive you. He that does righteousness he is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Amen? I want us to go deeper into these scriptures which were written by a beloved disciple of Jesus Christ, John. And I thank God for the revelation which God gave to John, the man who walked with Jesus himself. And John said, do not be deceived. Whosoever practice righteousness, he is righteous. Hallelujah. As he is righteous. Because Jesus is righteous. So every believer who has believed in Jesus Christ, when you begin to walk according to the ways of Christ himself, you are counted righteous as he is righteous. Amen? And the Bible says, whosoever sinneth is of the devil. Because the devil sinned from the beginning. The author of sin or the person who sinned first, it was the devil. So anyone now who practices sin or who does sin, he belongs to the devil. This is the Bible, what the Bible says. But we want to thank God because the Bible is saying now, but Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was manifested to come and destroy the works of the devil. Hallelujah. I love this scripture so much. Every brother and every sister in the world, you know what, we are, what is happening in the world today. I want to address the, the entire world today. By the grace of God, God has given me grace to travel to many nations of the world. Especially in India. You know what is happening in India today? I have been to the nations like Pakistan. I have been to the nations like Nepal. I have been to nations like Malaysia. By the grace of God and other nations I cannot mention here. But let me encourage you today. Because the whole world is living in fear today. But there must be someone who knows the truth. And who can tell the world about the truth. Hallelujah. Whatever is happening in the world today, it is of the devil. Hallelujah. But we thank God because Jesus himself, he was manifested to come and destroy all the works of the devil. So we want to thank God and to appreciate the Lord. Because them that knows the Lord, the Bible says they shall be strong and do exploits. And because as Christians, people who fear God, people who know God, we know the truth. We are the people to give people hope, not fear. For example, I want one brother, he asked me a question. William, can you see what is happening in India? I told him, yes, I can see what is in, happening in India. But let me tell you something. Don't be put fear in you by the media. Because we are the people with the solution of this sickness called coronavirus. Because Jesus himself has already destroyed the works of the devil. Corona is the work of the devil. 
But us who are born again, those who know Christ, we should understand that our master who is Jesus Christ has destroyed all the powers of the devil. Hallelujah. And what makes me happy, you know, remember the words of Jesus Christ when he said that, Father, all the authority, all the power you have given to me, I have given to these people. Brethren, we have the power given by our Lord Jesus Christ to destroy Corona. It is not Corona to destroy us, but us to destroy Corona. Because the one who destroyed the devil, he lives in us. I want to encourage the world. As Jesus said, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Jesus said so. And Jesus himself he is in the world through the church. Though the church should not live in fear, because the one who overcame the devil, the one who destroyed the works of the devil, Jesus himself, he lives in us. And that's why Jesus told us, if you believe in me, greater works than this I'm doing, you shall do them. For I am going to my father. And whatsoever you shall ask from the father in my name, I will do it. For that the father may be glorified. Brethren, let me tell you one thing. Me, I believe in God of miracles. I believe in God who heals all kinds of sickness and diseases. I, that's my belief. And I have seen God doing great miracles in the world. Every nation I go. I have seen Lord healing, healing people from cancer. Opening the blind to see. Making them, them to walk. The dumb to talk. The deaf to hear. I have seen miracles. So I preach Christ whom I know he is able. Hallelujah. And that's why even today. I want to pray for every sick person in the world. Believing. God is going to heal them. I don't, be, I don't pray doubting. I pray believing because I know he is the healer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he was manifested to destroy the works of the enemy. So, brethren, the whole church, don't believe the name of coronavirus. Coronavirus is not bigger than the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The biggest mistake we are making is in church is one. We are exhorting Corona even more than Jesus. To me, I want to say Corona has no power. The power of God himself, even the breath of Jesus Christ himself, he can erase coronavirus out of the world completely and you will never hear about Corona anymore. Jesus has that power. The Bible says by his breath, he shall destroy the enemy. By only by his breath, he shall destroy the enemy. So by the breath of Jesus, he can erase coronavirus out of the world. And no one will ever hear. And it becomes history. Because God will never share his glory with anyone. Everyone, even a small child in the world, they are all talking about corona. Everyone. But I'm telling you, you know about corona. But me personally, I have preached to people who have never heard the name of Jesus. They have never. Brethren, wherever I hear people saying, Jesus is coming back. Yes, I believe he is coming back and I know he is coming back. Even it is my desire for him to come back. But brethren, let me tell you one thing. There are people in the world, they have never heard the name of Jesus. And Jesus himself said, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all people so that the end may come. And these people like Indians, when you see these India, Indians, the way they are dying, many of them, they have never had the name of Jesus. They are Hindus. They are worshipping idols. And that's why we need to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because it is only the gospel of Christ which can bring healing in India and every nation of the world. Only the gospel of Jesus Christ. I've been to India several times. Most of big number of people, they are idol worshippers. They worship idols. They have that three million gods. The only thing which can bring hope now. And I thank God because India is the place where most of the people in the world, when they get sick, they run to. But the time has come for the people in India and the entire world to know that they are our only hope and the only person we can run to when we are sick now, when there is a problem in the world now, it is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Now the time has come for the whole world to know who Jesus is and for the whole world to know that it is only Jesus who can bring the solution of all the problems which are up in the world today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only Jesus can protect people 
from getting for this coronavirus. Only people, and I'm telling you, we have exalted corona and I don't believe, this is me, I don't believe corona is killing people more than cancer. I don't believe that. It is only that this thing has been politicized. People, they have put politics in corona because they have a bad agenda in this thing. But there's Jesus Christ who is the savior of the world and the healer. The one who was manifested so I want to tell everyone, maybe there are people who are sick in hospitals. They are in oxygen. Let me tell you one thing. When you hear the word of God, for faith comes by hearing. And hearing the word of God. When you have faith in Jesus, even that corona can get away from you. I know God does miracles. I have prayed for people when they are very far, wherever I am. And God has healed them. And God has done great miracles. I'm not the healer. Jesus is the healer. Our trust and our hope should be in Jesus himself. So Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. So I want to tell you, do not be a sinner. Because whosoever sins is of the devil. And whosoever practices righteousness is righteousness. He is righteous as he is righteous. But the son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the enemy. So brethren, I want to pray with you. Those who are sick, I want to pray with them. God is the healer. Believe with me. God is the healer. I believe wherever you are, even in India, if you are watching me, in Pakistan, in America, in Europe, in Australia, wherever you are watching me from, and you know you are sick, Jesus is going to heal you. He is the healer. So I'm going to pray with those who are sick, wherever they are. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you and I bless your name, O oh God, because of thy word. We have heard thy word, Almighty God. And your word is true, Father. And you watch over thy word to fulfill it now. You are watching over your word now, which you have put in my mouth to speak to thy people, Lord. And now, God Almighty, look at the entire world. The world is living in fear. And as the Bible says, we are not given the spirit of fear. By the spirit of body and sound mind, Lord. I pray, Father, now for every sick person in the world, wherever they are watching me from now, I come against every sickness. I come against every disease out of their bodies now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. You spirit, evil spirit, you are calling yourself coronavirus. You have brought fear into many, many people in the whole world. You have brought fear even to the leaders of the nations of the world. You have brought fear to the people in the world. Now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I command you in Jesus name, leave the world now and go. I command you leave every individual now and go in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of God. And you spirit of fear, which have been burning people through coronavirus. I rebuke you now in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of God. And I pray now, Father, faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word. Those who have heard this message, oh dear Father, you have built faith in them, dear God. And now, Father, I pray for healing in their bodies, Lord. Those who have corona, I declare them healed now in the name of Jesus. Those who have cancer, I declare them healed now in the name of Jesus. Those who have tuberculosis, I declare them healed now in Jesus Christ, son of God. Those who have malaria, those who have pneumonia, I rebuke all see these sicknesses and all these diseases out of them now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Them that are lame, I command them to walk in Jesus' name. That them are blind, I command them to see in the name of Jesus. That are deaf and dumb, I command them to hear and speak. Now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. For Jesus Christ, the Son of God was manifested to come and destroy the works of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, thank you Lord, because you have healed them. Thank you Lord, because you have set them free. They will suffer no more. Receive all the honor, receive all the glory, receive all the adoration in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Now, I have prayed for the sick people. Now, I want to ask anyone, as we have read the scriptures, anyone who is not born again, and as you have heard, whosoever sins is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. So when you are sinning, you are doing the will of the devil. And when you are doing the will of the devil, you have no eternal life. The reason why we get born again, it is only us that sometimes we make mistakes in preaching. 
We don't get born again so that we can buy cars. We don't get born again so that we can become rich. We get born again because of eternity. There is what we call eternal life. Eternity. When you die today, when you are a sinner, you go to hell to be burned forever and ever. But when you accept Jesus Christ and you get born again now, when you die, you go to live with the Lord Jesus Christ. Or when he comes back, he will rapture you and you go and you live with him forever and ever. The reason we get born again is that we may not perish when Jesus comes. When we leave this world, we may not go to hell. That's the reason why we get born again, brethren. Hallelujah. And when we get born again, all the rest now, God begins to follow us, to, to, to add unto us as we continue in obedience. As the Bible has said, whosoever practice righteousness is righteous. Hallelujah. And those who practice righteousness, now those are the people God blesses. So I want to pray with anyone who wants to believe in Jesus. If you want to accept Jesus Christ to be your personal savior, may you repeat these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I have heard your word. I have heard your word. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. Who needs to be forgiven. Oh, I need to be forgiven. So Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Forgive me. Forgive me. All my sins. All my sins. Wash me. Wash me. With your precious blood. With your precious blood. Remove my name. Remove my name. Out of the book of death. Out of the book of death. Write my name. Write my name. In the book of life. In the book of life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. God bless you. Amen. 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 That is very powerful. That is the very, very powerful man of God, William. Just come, William. There are people here who are asking for prayers. Like Sada, Sada what? what do you call that Sada. name? Sada. Sadakta. Sada? Sadakat. He's asking for the prayers. He is from Pakistan. Musha. Musha. Mustag. Mustag. <laughs> Mustag. He is called. Mustag, you are online. Pastor is going to pray for you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There's Nicholas. Mwaka. Mwika. Mwakazi. Mere Karondu. Mere Karondu is on. Is asking for prayers. I would request you to pray for Sadak. Sadakwet. Sadakwet. You pray for him. For him. Mushfa. Mustag. Mustag. The man of God is praying for you now. Now. Mm. And Monica Malaya is on. In Pakistan. So he is in Pakistan. He is on. He is watching you now. He is watching you now. And he need prayers. Pray for him. You can pray for him. Mm. The Lord is going to meet all your needs. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. I commit Brother Sadakat unto your holy name. Oh yes, Lord, in I Jesus commit name. him to you. Mm. You are the healer, Jehovah God. Mm. Whatever he is going through now, mm. heal him. Jehovah God Almighty, and every need he has now, Father, meet it now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Yes. May you bless his family, may you bless his businesses, mm -hmm. whatever he is doing now, Jehovah God, bless him, my Father, the entire family, in the, even the external of Jesus. family, yes, bless Lord. them more and more, in the, name in the of mighty Jesus. name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. And everyone listening, my God, my Father, mm -hmm. all those who have asked for prayers, Lord, my God, mm -hmm. I commit all of them to you, Lord. In the them name that of are Jesus. sick, heal them. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord. the Son of the living God. Mm -hmm. We thank you and we bless your name. Oh. Every need they have, mm -hmm. give it to them. Whatever they need, maybe money, mm -hmm. give to them. Mm -hmm. Jobs, give to them. In the Father, we know Jesus. many people they are in a struggling because of life now. Mm. Men have lost their jobs. Oh they don't know God, where see. to get money to, for, to take their children back to school. Thank you, Lord. They don't know where to get money. Oh mm. my God, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Even to pay house rent. Yes. Lord, you are miracle working mm. God. In the you name supply of for our needs according to your riches in glory. Yes, Lord. Father, in, in Jesus' name, Jesus. name, may you provide for them all. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 There is Riaza. Riaza Mas, Mas, Masi. Riyaza, Bashir. Riyaza, Masi, Mas, Mas, All the way from Malaysia. Malaysia. He's saying, friend, Praise the Lord. I'm is, blessed. He's my pastor. Riaza Malaysia. Malaysia Mchuga, uh, pastor from Malaysia. God bless you so much. You are most welcome in Kenya. Here, where William is ministering. 
and Monica Mulaya, and then we have Kalodu. You can, uh, they are all on. God bless you for being on. May the Lord bless you. This is Rafiki TV with uh, the man of God, Pastor William. Evangelist William, thank you for coming. Remember on Sunday, he will be live here. He will be praying for the sick here. Stay tuned on Sunday exactly at 2. He will be on here on Sunday. We are, people will be waiting for you here. Okay. He will be sharing his testimony, how he has traveled all those uh, countries, especially India, India, where? India, Malaysia, Japan, and, and uh, Nepal. He will be sharing his testimony, how God has been with him, and, and how is God, God is using him. Stay tuned, and on Sunday, we meet here in the same place, 2 p.m. And there is a number there. You can call that number anytime. You want to talk to the man of God live. There is a number there. You can call and God is going to bless you. Uh, those who are far, what's up? You can talk to him. He's going to bless you. And God bless you. God bless you for tuning, for being on Lafiki TV here in Kenya. Preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And making friends to meet friends. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. You are watching Rafiki TV. Rafiki TV. Connecting.